morning, friends, and welcome to Rambling with Red Yarn. Are y'all ready to ramble? All right, where should we go today? Hmm, I wonder. Maybe take you to the deep woods, where the critters make you feel good. Maybe take a walk down the barn, the kids dancing in the old barn. Oh, maybe take you around this town, backyard to the playground. Maybe we can take a gamble, and maybe we can go rambling. Oh, I'm gonna take you rambling, far to the forest, fast as a hare, quick as a tortoise. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all today. First things first, um, make sure on the other end that you can hear me loud and clear. Can y'all hear me? Does it sound okay today? On Thursday, we had some technical issues with the sound, and we had to stop the stream early, which was so sad. So let me know if you can hear me all right today, all right? And we'll, and we'll make sure we got it just right for you. How's everybody feeling today? Yeah? Can you show me on your thumbs? Are you feeling pretty good? Are you feeling really good? Are you feeling super excited to be together? Me too. Is anybody feeling just kind of so-so today? Is anybody feeling kind of grumpy or sad or sleepy or sick today? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hey, no matter how you're feeling, are you all ready to have some fun together? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. How much fun should we have? What do you think? Should we have like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you want to have. You want to have that much fun? That is so much fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun. Who remembers? How do we have fun when old Red Yarn, that's me by the way, and my critters come around? What do we like doing for fun? First, we love singing together, right? Let's warm up our singing voices. Everybody take a big deep breath and sing. La 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 la. Oh, beautiful. Put two fingers up like this if you want to do some dancing. You want to dance? Let's warm up our dance moves. Everybody give me a little wiggle. So I know you're ready to dance. Nice. Um, raise one hand if you like animals. Who likes animals? Excellent, because I brought a bunch of critters and they can't wait to see you. And raise both your hands like this and stick your tongue like this and go, ah, if you want to get a little silly. Should we get a little silly? I think that'd be a great idea. Hey, but before we get started today, there's a little good morning song we got to sing. It's called Beautiful Day. Hopefully y'all remember it. Can you make a little sun with your hands like this? And let's try singing. The sun has come up, the rooster has crowed, and I'm wide awake from my head to my toes. My friends are all here, we're ready to play. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful day. Yay! It is a beautiful day. Let's see who's here today. Let's see who's watching. Let's do our shout outs right off the bat. I'm going to say hi to everybody who's put their name in the comments so far. Laurel and William are watching and ready to ramble. Hi, Laurel and William. Rosie's ready. Hi, Rosie. Leaf and Finn are here. And Finn says, I play the drums at my dad's in Happy Valley. That's so cool. Uh, guess what, Finn? Today I'm going to bring out a critter who plays drums just like you. Um, let's see who else is watching. Annie and baby Leon are here. Hi, friends. Maya is watching. Hi, Maya. Cascadian is rambling ready. Hi, Cascadia. Marshall's here. Um, Mars is here. Ava and Maddie are ready to go. Hi, friends. Eliza says hi. Hi, Eliza. Buggy says hello. Yay, yay, yay. Um, Alexander says hello. Who else? It's a beautiful day. Ava is here. Elena and Trip are here. Olympia and Saxon are here. Miranda and Winona. And they brought a bunch of their critters, too. Oh, that's so fun, Miranda and Winona. I'm glad you brought your critters. And Eva Marie is here, too. Hi, friends. I'm so glad you're here. If I didn't shout out your name, make sure you're a grown-up. Or if you can type it, type your name in the comments, and I'll give you a little shout-out at my next little shout-out section, okay? Well, friends, today I was hoping we could ramble to Red Yarn's Old Barn. Does that sound fun? 
good. I was thinking we could have a, a barn party. Do y'all want to come to the barn party? I think that would be super fun. But of course, lately, we haven't been gathering up in big groups, right? We haven't been gathering together. Why haven't we been gathering in big indoor groups? Because of this thing going on called the coronavirus, right? Or another name for it is COVID-19. You've probably talked about it with your family. It's the reason a lot of kids are staying home, doing school from home right now. It's a reason we're probably not traveling as much as we used to. But there's a lot of things we can do to keep ourselves safe during this time, right? What are some of the things you've been doing to keep yourself safe during this time of the coronavirus? I bet you've been washing your hands a lot, right? For 20 seconds, really scrubbing and rubbing them. What else have you been doing? Have you been keeping safe distance from people? Six or 10 feet, yeah? We've been staying close to home as much as we can. If we're feeling sick, should we go out at all? No, if you're feeling like you have a little cold or a cough or a sneeze, you should stay home to not spread germs. And when we do go out, what have we been wearing? Masks, right? I haven't worn a mask on my show because I'm always indoors, mostly by myself. But I'm going to show you what, I, what red yarn looks like in a mask. What do you think? That's my mask. Looks okay, huh? This is just a little simple re, uh, disposable mask. Uh, these are easy to find and feel pretty comfortable. They, they don't make, they, I, I kind of like having it on. It makes me feel a little safer and it makes me feel like I'm being safer to the other people I'm seeing too. So we're going to have a barn party today. There's not going to be a lot of folks there, and we're going to keep safe distance between me and you and the critters. But if you have a mask and you want to try it on for the barn party today, feel free to, okay? And we're going to see some critters and talk to them about how they wear masks, too. So let's start things off with a song about my old barn. Y'all might remember this one. There's a little sing-along part. Everybody put your hands on your heart like this. And we're going to stretch out our hearts and we're going to sing. Well, we'll all feel better if we could all just be together. Give yourself a big hug. Or if you're watching with someone else and you got their permission, you can give them a big hug. And there's room here in my old barn for you. All right, let's try it again. Well, we'll all feel better. Big smiles if we could all just be together. Big hugs. And there's room here. In my old barn for you. You got all that? All right, we're gonna get together virtually, safely today, and have fun in the old barn. Let's get it going with a stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap. Keep it up. Stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap. clap. Well, I'm going out tonight. Fucking the stars, so light. Calling. On the farm Where we all been feel blue And there's just one thing to do We're gonna throw a party in the barn And it don't matter whether you got fur You got feathers Oh, if you walk on four legs Or on two And there's room here in my old barn for you. All right, let's get that stomp clap going. Stomp, clap, stomp. Listen for an animal's name. If you hear an animal's name, see if you can make that animal sound, okay? Well, the pot, belly pig. Oink, oink. It's got his mask and wig. He's just in a big costume for the ball. Hey, have you met this worship band? 
We can all just be together. Big hug. Welcome to the old barn. I am so glad you've come today. Are we ready to be safe? Are we keeping our distance? Are we wearing our masks? Yeah? Good. Well, before uh, we see the next, the first critter at this barn party, I'm going to wear a mask so I can be safe with the critter. Most of the critters you see here live in my backyard, and we're all part of the same quarantine pod. But, uh, but the barnyard critters, I haven't seen them in a while. So we're going to be super safe today, okay? I'm going to mask up, and we're going to say hello. Let's see who came along. It's my friend Sis Goose. Do you want to see Sis Goose? Oh, she's the sweetest. Let's call her out. Everybody say, come on out, Sis Goose. Come on out, Sis Goose. Oh, hello, friends. It's me, Sis Goose. Sis Goose is wearing a mask, too. Say, hi, Sis Goose. Hi, friends. Great to see you all today. Sis Goose, are you feeling okay? Oh, yes, I'm feeling great, thank you. I'm just wearing a mask to be safe. Oh, that's such a good idea, Sis Goose. Why do you wear a mask? Is it because you're scared of getting sick? Oh, no, I mean, I do wear a mask to protect myself, but really, it's about making sure I don't accidentally spread my germs to someone else. You see, I spend a lot of time with my grandmother, Old Mother Goose. Oh, that's so lucky you get to spend a lot of time with your, grand with your grandmother. Raise your hand if you get to spend time with your grandparents, too. Oh, that is so wonderful. That is so safe. But since we don't live in the same place, and I want to be very safe, when I visit with my grandmother, I wear a mask so that I don't accidentally spread germs to her. You see, my grandmother, she's very strong. She's very healthy. But still, sometimes older people are more vulnerable. Older people or people who've been sick before are a little more vulnerable. So we got to be extra safe. That doesn't mean that they're that they're sick or, or, or that they're, they're going to have a hard time, but, but we just got to be extra, extra safe. So that's why I wear my mask, to look out for my grandmother and all my friends and all my community members. Well, that's a great way to think about it, Sis Goose. Hey, should we sing a song about your grandmother today? Oh, that'd be so funny. I want to sing a song about my grandmother. She's kind of famous. You may have heard of her before, Old Mother Goose. Well, thanks for staying so safe, and, and thanks for coming to the barn party today. Bye, friends. Say bye, Sis Goose. Bye. All right, y'all. Thanks, Sis Goose. That's great. Now, some of you... Younger kids don't always have to wear masks, especially when they're with their families and stuff like that, when you're with the people you're living with or the people you're potted with. But some of us, if we're visiting uh, an aunt or uncle or grandparent or, or, or neighbor, we might wear masks if we don't see them often so that we keep them safe too. So let's sing a song about Sis Goose's grandmother, Old Mother Goose. Have you ever heard of the Old Mother Goose nursery rhymes? Raise your hand if you know some nursery rhymes. What are some cool nursery rhymes? Do you know Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall? Let's say that one together. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Do you all know Hey Diddle Diddle? Let's do that one. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Those are nursery rhymes. Those are Old Mother Goose nursery rhymes. So we're going to rock out and sing and dance with Old Mother Goose. If y'all want to stand up, this is kind of a rock and roll song. So you can jump around, you can shake your body, you can flap your wings like a goose, you can strut around however you want to do it, and hopefully you'll sing along with these uh, nursery rhymes too. Let's get the beat going. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Jump the gate, she's spreading her wings and she's shifting her 
rhymes all together in a real rock and roll kind of way. Let's start with Humpty Dumpty again, okay? Like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a big fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men, well, they couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh. All right, sometimes if you're singing rock and roll, you can go, oh. Can y'all say that with me? Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's do uh, let's do Hey Diddle Diddle. Here we go. Well, hey Diddle Diddle, the cat in the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Well, the little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon, y'all. <laughs> let's do one more. Y'all know Jack and Jill went up the hill? Alright, let's do Jack and Jill all together. Sing it with me. Well, Jack and Jill went. Up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came to tumble after. Oh, mothers and fathers, you do not understand her. What's good for the goose ain't no good for the dinner. Whatever the season, whatever the time, and whatever the reason, she's got a rhyme. Look at old Mother Goose. She bust loose, uh, she flew the coop, man, uh, she slipped the noose. Oh, Mother Goose, uh, she cut loose, say hello to the new oh, Mother Goose. Goose, let's rock, oh, Mother Goose. Come on! One more time, I said, oh, Mother Goose. Nice. Thanks for singing and dancing along, y'all. That was fun. Well, let's see. Do we got any other shout-outs who joined us since I last did them? Oh, Hunter's watching. Hi, Hunter. Marion and Eloise say hello. Hi, Marion and Eloise. The Coopers in Oklahoma say hello. Hi, Cooper family. Hattie says hello. Hi, Hattie. Wes and Levi are watching today. Hi, Wes and Levi. And Caleb and Lucas are also watching. Yay, I'm so glad you're all tuning in today. Hey, here's what we're going to do next. We're going to do a few birthday shout outs. Raise your hand if you have a birthday. Me too. Raise your hand if you love birthdays. Me too. Raise your hand if you want to help us celebrate a few friends' birthdays today. Me too. Well, on Thursday, like I mentioned at the beginning of the show, we had some technical difficulties, and I had four birthday shout-outs today. I did uh, that day. I did another little short stream to say hello, but I thought those four kids plus another newer birthday shout-out deserve to have a birthday shout-out on a regular, well-functioning show. So we got five birthday shout-outs. Are y'all ready for them? We're going to do four from last week and one more too. Today we are celebrating Leaf's second birthday. Happy second birthday, Leaf. I like second birthdays because you can make the peace sign too. Everybody go, peace, peace. Happy second birthday, Leaf. I hope it was full of peace and love. Royal turned three last week. Happy third birthday, Royal. Oh, man. Royal's my buddy in Texas. I wish I could celebrate with you, Royal, but hopefully soon enough. Cyrus also turned three last week. Happy third birthday, Cyrus. Three is such a big kid number. All right. And Sam just had his fifth birthday over the weekend. Can everybody hold up five fingers and give a big high five to Sam for his fifth birthday? High five, Sam. And finally, Judah, my old buddy Judah, who I've known since Judah was like zero years old. Judah just turned seven. Happy seventh birthday, Judah. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to say happy birthday to Leaf. Royal, Cyrus, Sam, and Judah, okay? We're going to sing it to all of them. Um, uh, let's see. I don't have a way to... Let me see if I can pin this up. No, I got it. I got it. Here we go. All right. There you can, there you can almost see them all. Judah's at the bottom there if that got cut off. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Would you sing with me? Happy birthday to all these friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And Cyrus and Sam and Judah. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Happy birthday, friends.
friends. I hope you had such wonderful birthday celebrations. Thanks for letting us celebrate you a little bit here on the home, uh, on the Ramblin' Show with Red Yarn. <laughs> okay, should we see another critter? Okay, this is another friend I haven't seen in a while, and they were not part of the same quarantine pod, so I'm gonna be safe again. I'm gonna put my mask back on. All right, it's my friend Carl. Carl the goat. Do y'all remember Carl the goat? He hasn't come rambling with us. Uh, last time we saw him was a few months ago on my homespun show, but he's great. You'll love him. Let's call him out in a big voice. Everybody say, come on out, Carl. Come on out, Carl. Here I come. Oh, hey, everybody, it's me, Carl the Goat. Are y'all ready to rock and roll? Are y'all ready to rock and roll? Well, good. Did you know I'm part of the Old Barn Band? That's right, Carl. Can you remind us, what do you play in the Old Barn Band? Me? I play the drums. Raise your hand if you've ever played the drums before. Cool! That's awesome. I love the drums. They're so much fun. I brought my drumstick today. Just one drumstick? What happened to the other drumstick, Carl? Oh, I got hungry and I ate it. Oh no, Carl! That was silly. Wait, where are your drums? Oh, I, I got hungry and I ate those too. Oh, Carl, you silly old goat. You ate your drumstick and your drums? Yeah, so I'm gonna need your help keeping the beat today. Oh, our, our friends are really good at clapping their hands, stomping their feet, and keeping the beat. Hey, Carl, I see that you're wearing a mask today too. Thanks for being safe. Well, of course. When I'm playing music, when I'm banging on the drums, and I'm singing along with the songs, I start breathing really heavy, and, and sometimes that means when I'm breathing heavy, my germs are getting spread further and further out. So I make sure to wear a mask when I'm playing drums for people so I don't accidentally spread my germs to them. Oh, that's a great idea. Now, what about if you were practicing by yourself at home? Would you need to wear a mask then? Oh, no. If I was just with my family or if I was practicing drums by myself, I wouldn't need to wear a mask then. But if I'm performing right now, I'm definitely going to wear a mask. Well, that's super safe of you, Carl. Thanks so much for looking out for everybody. And, and let's have some fun. Let's make some music together. Sounds good. Rock and roll, friends. Say rock and roll, Carl. Rock and roll. <laughs> All right. Bye, Carl. Friends, we're going to have a barn dance today. And if you'd like to help Carl keep the beat, he could use some help. He ate his drums. He ate his other drumstick. He only has one drumstick. So if you want to stomp your feet and clap your hands to this song, you can. Or you can just dance. This is a fun old song called Barn Dance. This is based on an old cowboy song I read in a book. But then I changed up some of the words to be a bit to be about a big animal barn dance, and I added a new chorus and some other parts too. I'm gonna show you how we sing it, okay? When we get to the chorus, we're gonna go, yippee ti yippee tippy ay tippy a yippee ti yippee tippy a Hey! Can you put your hand up in the air and say, hey! Nice, let's try it again. yippee ti yippee tippy a tippy a yippee ti yippee tippy a Hey! yippee ti yippee tippy a tippy a ti yippee tippy a Oh, sorry, I forgot to remind you. The second time we don't say, hey, the second time we go, shh. Can you say that with me? Shh. Nice. Let's try it again. Both together. Hey, the first time. Shh. The second time. Shh. Nice. Okay. Let's see. If you're, if you're sitting down and you feel like staying seated, that's okay, but maybe you can help Carl with the beat. You can stomp your feet or clap your hands. If you feel like standing up and dancing, I invite you to. You can dance like an animal. You can dance like your favorite character from a book or a movie, or you can just dance like yourself, okay? When I say the magic word, cock a doo doo let's start the barn dance. Are y'all ready? Let's keep it safe with our bodies. Let's keep our safe distance. Let's keep our bodies to ourselves. Here we go, y'all. And one, two, cock a doo 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 all you woolly critters, let's go to Red Yard's ranch. The fiddly pigs are coming, we're gonna have a dance. The cow wrote their piano and rug to the farm. Tonight we're gonna pay off the mortgage on the farm. Here we go, if you die, I if you be a to be a tie, I if you be a hey, if you die, I if you be a to be a tie, I if you be a shh. Such a dance for heaven has never been had yet. Old Smelly Jim will be there, he's gonna call it set. Did you see place to wash tub and go we'll bang the drum? So slick up in the grease paint, get ready for some fun. And you 
And that's good. You can keep the beat for everybody else. If you're dancing, I want to see how fast you can move your feet while making barnyard animal noises. Can you do that with me? Okay, I'm watching. You might not think I can see you, but I can. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Woo! so much fun. Thanks for singing and dancing and stomping and clapping along. That was a blast. Well, usually during this part of the show, I would do my critter portraits, but I don't have any new critter portraits to share today. So I want to take this time to invite all of you to share your artwork with me so I can show it off on the show. Some of you have sent in your artwork in the past and I've shown it off. Some of you might have never sent in a picture, but here's the deal. I want to make sure it's totally clear. It doesn't even have to be a critter portrait. I call it my critter portraits segment because that's how it started. Mostly of uh, pic uh, kids drawing pictures of my different critter puppets. But it doesn't have to be a critter. It can be any kind of artwork that you're working on. So if you made a sculpture out of clay and you take a picture of it, if you built a really cool building with Legos, and took a picture of it, if you did a piece of writing you wanted to share and took a picture of it, if you made a collage with paper or with um, nature, with leaves and sticks that you collected outside, take a picture of it. If you're putting on a show at home with puppets or music, take a picture of it. If you draw a picture, take a picture of it. Whatever you want to do, your grown-up can help you take a picture of it and then you can send it to me on my Facebook, um, on Facebook Messenger, send a message to me to Red Yarn Page, or you can email me redyarnproductions at gmail.com and I will show off your artwork on my show and say a little something about it, okay? So keep that artwork coming. I want to see your artwork. It makes me so happy. It brings me so much joy to get to see and share your artwork. So keep the artwork coming in so we can keep showing it off on the show. Sound good? Good. Well, friends, we had a couple, we had one more, um, at least one more little shout out that came in. Charlie says hi. Hi, Charlie. Um, <laughs> Patch says, Carl, drumsticks are delicious, but make sure they're the ice cream or meat kind. Patch, good advice. Eating a wooden drumstick is not so good, but eating an ice cream drumstick or a chicken drumstick, those are good. All right, and Elfina's family says hi. Yay! Thanks so much for tuning in, y'all. I'm so glad to see y'all. I missed you last week because we had to end that one show kind of early, so I didn't get to say hi to all my friends. But I'm so happy to see y'all today. Let's see one last critter and do one last song before we say so long for the day. This critter lives in my backyard. We're in a quarantine pod together. We've been seeing each other um, throughout this time. So I'm not going to put on my mask for him, but it looks like he's wearing a mask today. It's my friend Shiloh the Squirrel. Do you remember Shiloh the Squirrel? Everybody say, come on out, Shiloh. Come on out, Shiloh. Oh, there's Shiloh. Shiloh got a little bit shy. That happens a lot to Shiloh. Say, it's okay, Shiloh. It's okay, Shiloh. Oh, Shiloh, Shiloh, Shiloh. Come here. Can I hold you for a minute, buddy? All right, I'm going to hold on to Shiloh for a minute. Shiloh gets kind of scared sometimes. 
Shiloh feels kind of shy sometimes. Shiloh, what are you feeling scared or shy about today? Well, you know, sometimes when I see people wearing their masks, it makes me feel nervous that they're sick and that I should stay away. Oh, Shiloh, I understand that feeling. Sometimes it's kind of strange to see people wearing a masks, mask, right? Someone you recognize, you might recognize them because you can't see their whole face. Or you might wonder, why is that person wearing a mask? Are they sick? But you know what? Most of us right now are just wearing masks to keep each other and ourselves safe. So it doesn't mean that we're sick. And it doesn't mean there's anything to be scared of. In fact, you should be happy to see people wearing masks because that means they're working really hard to keep you and your family and your community safe. Oh, well, that makes me feel a little bit better. Shiloh, I like your mask. Oh, thanks. My mommy made it for me. Oh, that's so sweet. But Shiloh, it looks like it's coming down over your mouth a little bit. You want to make sure that you keep your mask over your nose and your mouth, right? You mean if it comes down over my nose, it doesn't work? That's right, because then your nose is breathing out the air back and forth. So you want to make sure that you got a nice mask that fits over your nose and your mouth. Oh, maybe this one's a little bit small. Maybe I'll make a new one. Well, Shiloh, just remember when you see people wearing masks, you don't need to be scared. You should, you should feel braver and happy that they're all working really hard to protect each other and to protect you too. Oh, well, thanks for the good reminder. Thanks for wearing your masks. Thanks for working so hard to keep your community safe. Y'all are the sweetest. And I hope if we keep on doing all these things to, to look out for each other, that before too long, we can get back together for a real barn dance. Me too, Shiloh. Me too. Well, it's good to see you. Can I have an air hug? Can everybody give Shiloh a big air hug? Mm. Air hugs. I miss you, friends, but it's good to see you here. Bye. Say bye, Shiloh. Bye. Oh, Shiloh. Thanks so much, Shiloh, for coming and saying hi. I understand that feeling, especially at first when people first started wearing their masks. It was a little strange sometimes to see people in masks, but now it's really normal. Hopefully most of the places you're going, most of the grown-ups are wearing masks, right? So we're going to sing a song, another funny song about my old barn. This is a song from, uh, a bunch of the songs today are from my album, Red Yarn's Old Barn. And this is one of the songs I wrote for that album. It's called, My Barn Door Is Open. Now, I wrote it is kind of a joke because in one way I meant, my heart is open, my barn is open to you, and you're all welcome to come. And I hope we can all move through the world with our hearts and our arms wide open to other people, to let other people and let love into our lives, right? We gotta do that carefully right now with masks, with safe distance, but we can still live with wide open hearts. We can still be very loving and caring to other people. But there's also a little joke in this song because um, <clears throat> at least where I grew up in Texas, if someone said, your barn door is open, you know what they meant? They meant that your zipper on your pants was down and you better check it. So this is a little joke, a little play on words there. This song's called My Barn Doors Open. Here we go. In case you missed the gist of my invitation If I seem a bit unzipped, be patient You can all come to my party Like my daddy always said, my barn door is open.
That was fun. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me here today on Ramblin' with Red Yarn. It was so good to see you all. I'm so glad you've come. Before we say goodbye, I got a couple of things I want to mention. Number one, if your family's in a p position to donate to the show, I greatly appreciate that. That means that I can keep these shows going. There's a few ways you can do that. On Venmo, I'm at Red Yarn. On Cash App, I'm Money Sign Red Yarn. On PayPal, there's a link in my Facebook post. It's paypal.me slash redyarnpdx. Or a lot of you have done, and I so appreciate, is support on Patreon. And that way you can support on an ongoing basis, like on a monthly basis, almost like what you do on NPR or OPB, um, where they tell you to be a sustaining circle member. If you're on my Patreon, you're a sustaining circle member for these shows and for my whole career because you're paying on an ongoing basis. So I so appreciate y'all's support. This is a hard time for a lot of families and a lot of folks financially. I know people, and there's also a lot of good causes out there to donate to, and I so appreciate all the work y'all are doing to support the good causes and the other folks in your community. Um, but any contribution you can muster, I so appreciate too. If your family's in a position where you really can't do that right now, I hope you keep tuning in because that's the most important thing that we gather together. But any support you can give is awesome. I'd also like to shout out my good buddy Aaron Nigel Smith, who's behind the scenes, helping out with the cameras and the sound and all that stuff. We're sharing a new studio space together, and um, he's doing a bunch of cool shows too. He's got a uh, check out his YouTube. He's got a show called The Big Up Show. He's done. Check out his music um, wherever you listen to music. He's got a, it's an awesome uh, family reggae performer. So check that out. And um, what else? Yeah, thanks for doing your part to um, keep our communities safe. Thanks for wearing your masks when it's necessary and when it's appropriate. Thanks for keeping safe distance. Thanks for keeping your hands clean. Thanks for not touching your face. Thanks for staying home um, when you're feeling sick. Thank you all for doing your part. It's been seven months since, at least in Portland, since we started staying home. That's a long time, and it's easy after seven months to kind of feel like, huh, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to get back to normal. And trust me, I know that feeling. I think a lot of us feel that same way. But we still all got to do our part, right? And be really smart and listen to science. All right, friends. It was so good to see you all today. There's one more thing we got to say. Oh, uh, oh, my Aunt Sarah says, good lesson, Red Yarns. Let's have a barn dance in Texas. That sounds good. I'll see you there, Sarah. All right, y'all. Let's say see you later. Oh, Julie's family says, where can we buy your music? Great question, Julie. Thanks for asking. The best place you can buy my music is on Bandcamp. If you go to redyarn.bandcamp.com, you can order my CDs, you can order my vinyl records. I got three of my albums on vinyl, and you can buy digital albums too. Most of the streaming services, Spotify, Pandora, all those places, um, that it's cool that you listen there, but it's really awesome if you can buy my music directly. And if you order it on Bandcamp, I actually ship those packages. So if you leave a little note, I can I can write a note on the CD or the record for your kid. So ban redyarn.bandcamp.com. Bandcamp has been doing some awesome stuff too to um, share their revenues with artists and with the community. So it's a good place to discover and check out and order music. Redyarn.bandcamp.com. Thanks for the great question. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Let's say, see you later, alligator. Get your chompers out and repeat after me. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Well, I really gotta go. Well, I really gotta go. Give me one more pretty smile. Give me one more pretty smile. Cheese. How about a high five for good listening, singing, dancing today. Pat on the back for being so safe with your bodies. And a big hug for being such sweethearts. Mm, it was great to see you all today. I'll be back on Tuesday for another episode of Ramblin' with Red Yarn. See you then, friends. Have a great week. Bye.